Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 1st of 2021. Well, it is titled satellites over Orion. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image of the Orion Nebula and the Orion Nebula is a large star forming region, uh, one of the larger star forming regions very close to us and where stars currently form. And in fact, within the central region, stars are still forming uh, within the Orion Nebula. And as these stars form, the very hottest stars and most massive ones form first, and they emit a lot of ultraviolet energy, which is able to excite the gas around it and cause it to glow. In general, gas is invisible and not seen out in space unless it is around something that excites it. So normally gas much like our own atmosphere we can see straight through. However, when it is excited by ultraviolet radiation from a star it does cause it to glow. Now in this case, we're also seeing a number of streaks of satellites going across Orion as well, and kind of highlighting one of the problems that is coming with a lot more satellites up in orbit. Because satellites are in orbit and do reflect sunlight, they will also make paths across the sky, so that we're able to see those when we are trying to look at other astronomical objects. So here we see a number of of those satellite trails. And this is going to be a concern for many astrophotographers and astronomers who want to look and get detailed images. Now it would not be a problem in general for a very short image if you're looking at something bright, because there's not a lot of time involved there. However, many astronomical images taken by astrophotographers and by professional astronomers with the very large telescopes need long exposures being many hours or even days over over a number of days to be able to see some of the very faintest objects that we try to look at in the universe. And of course, getting objects in the way as is demonstrated here uh, is one of the problems with that and something that astronomers try to work with those putting satellites up such as the Starlink group putting Starlink satellites up into space to try to work with them so that they will minimize how bright they appear in the sky. But of course, it still is a difficulty because the more objects we have there, that will interfere with any ground based observations. So anything that has to look through the atmosphere will see more and more satellites as they are as there are more and more satellites are put into Earth orbit. So here we see an example of that with a number of satellites going through uh, the uh, constellation of Orion and the Orion Nebula. Now as noted here, the, I've mentioned Starlink, these are not Starlink satellites, these are actually satellites in very high orbit. But the process in and the con concerns are still similar. So that was our picture of the day for June the 1st of 2021. It was titled Satellites over Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.